you're gonna go play with something rather than just chew. I might have to take these bars out actually and just make it like this one because he has a bit of a habit of chewing. So now moving on to the skinny pigs. Well, I've already kind of showed you basically, but I have it lined out with Corex underneath here. This is their fleece area. Then this area they have Megazorb on the ground and this just makes it easy for me to clean. They've got their hammock there which they love to um, sleep on. Hay rack, bendy logs bridge and this super long tunnel. I joined two of them together actually using these cable ties and they just love going up and down this. Hopefully they'll do it later so you can see. And they have a few fleecy items like this snuggly thing and then they have a stool which basically holds up the tunnel. Another fleecy house here which they absolutely love, this is their favourite. So yeah that's pretty much it and they have their bottle down there and I will be showing you at the end as I said how I'm going to get them up and down so they can have free range time. Have you stopped chewing at last? <laughs> Finally, I wanted to show you the gerbil setup. So the gerbils were previously up here, the skinny pigs were previously down here, but I wanted to switch and I feel like with the skinny pigs it's better for them to be higher up, for me to interact with them and with the gerbils. Because this lid is so big it was a nightmare to get on and off when it was up there and I just feel like it's better for me to interact with them when they're down here. Plus it's a really good view of them so I kind of like how it is now. And I think they seem to be really enjoying it. <laughs> Look at Pingu. <laughs> he just fell off. That's just a classic Pingu moment. He has a tendency to fall off things all the time. So I'm hoping the gerbils will wake up soon. I might have to go and wake them up because they're sleeping right now. I didn't think you were going to get up. I'm glad they finally got up. I'm not sure where Sooty is, but yeah, this is Milo. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to say I have I have actually just published my care guide, which is petspaliscareguide.com. So any pet related things, any sort of questions you have, anything, any pet care information you're wanting to research, you will find most things for rabbits, guinea pigs, gerbils and hamsters on there. I have spent a lot of time lately, that's why I've not really been as active on YouTube because I've been spending the last few days just constantly working on my website and getting it published but I'm really happy with how it's turned out so hopefully you guys can maybe give me some feedback, let me know what you like, what you think could be improved about it and yeah just your thoughts really so that would be really great if you could let me know what you think of that. Oh he's having a wash. Also fun fact, all the animals in here are actually male, that was not planned, it just turned out that way. So yeah, all of them are male, which is quite interesting as well because most of the animals outside are actually female, seeing as the majority of the guinea pigs are female. Sooty's just woke up as well, that's really good. Hello. See I've had the- oh he's going to escape. I've had these gerbils since December now and I was hoping to work on taming a bit more. Well he's probably going to climb in the guinea pig's cage. <laughs> So I was hoping to work on taming them a bit more, seeing as they've been here for quite a few months now, so yeah, and I think with rearranging the setup this is going to make it so much easier for me to interact with them and to watch them because gerbils are really great pets for watching rather than cuddling or handling as such, but they are so much fun, they're so entertaining to watch, so I'm quite happy with how things have turned out. They just had their habitat cleaned yesterday, so this is all brand new for them. <laughs> He's chewing up that toilet roll tube now. So that's pretty much all that I have to share with you. And I'm now going to be showing you how I make the ramp for the skinny pig's cage. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the tour and yeah, I'll just go and show you how I've made the ramp. <laughs>
to make the ramp you're going to need a big block of wood wider is better so this size as opposed to this size you need some garden border edging which you can find at garden centers then some different types of hooks these sort of hooks a few cnc grids which will bend and possibly some pliers depending on how you want to bend it hot glue gun scissors cable ties and some fleece once you find a piece of wood that fits the length of the edging, then you're good to go. Alternatively, you can take these bits of wood off the wire and stick them on individually to make little ridges all the way up. But because this one is fixed on, I'm just going to be leaving it as it is. The wire sticks out too much, so the wood blocks aren't gonna stick to the super glue or to the hot glue. So what I'm gonna do is Take this bit of wire stuff and I'm going to bend it round and then I'm going to hook it onto there and cable tie it. So you're going to want one of these, I don't know what they're called but <laughs> it looks like that and then you're going to want a small screw. see this here I'm just going to hook this bit of wire over there then cable tie it you can see there's two pre-drilled holes at the bottom here I'm just gonna hook these bits of wire through and then tie them on the other side is finally finished. 